What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram. It's Geekly Amanda. G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. And it's time to get this movie review started. Y'all, Netflix dropped a new movie today called Sweet Girl, and it stars Jason Momoa, who you know I love me some Jason Momoa, Momoa, Momoa and Isabel Merced. Merced, is that how you say? She was best known as Dora from Dora and the Lost City of Gold. And this is a movie, like a revenge thriller movie that will have you on the edge of your seat. Let me tell you a little bit about what the plot's about. So it stars Jason Momoa, who plays Ray Cooper, and his wife, Amanda. Hello, I love that name. But she's dying of cancer. And the only thing to save her is this life-saving pharmaceutical drug, which actually the pharmaceutical company took off the shelves. So now he, Ray is out to get answers for why it was taken off the shelves, who's behind it, and he's out for revenge. Along the way is his daughter Rachel, played by Isabella Mer Merces, and she gets caught in the middle of all this. So the best thing about Sweet Girl, if you're not surprised, is Jason Momoa. <laughs> At least for me, but I can be a little bit biased. I mean, we're used to seeing him in these superhero shirtless showcasing his physique and everything, like Aquaman movies. But in this one, you know, he really had to kind of dig deep in some of the emotions, like the grief and, and being overcome with that. And you see that raw emotion come out of him. And also, you know, the kind of bond he has with his daughter in this, uh, Isabel Mercedes, who the character is Rachel, and that father-daughter bond. It's very believable. The two have great chemistry on screen. And um, it's not that surprising considering Jason Momoa is a father himself and seems to be a very invested father. So that wasn't surprising at all. Of course, it's got some great action scenes. And there's a big twist, which I don't want to tell you about anymore because I don't want to give any spoilers. That was the best part about the movie is the twist. What I didn't like about it, I mean, the writing was good. The twist was good. The dialogues were kind of just cheesy, not believable, you know, especially when the villains come into play and, and the dialogues between the good guys and the bad guys. It just... It wasn't that great, you know? It was kind of just, okay, where is this leading? Just seems to be read off, you know, some paper. It wasn't that great at all. I tell you, you know, this is about Jason Momoa, you know, his wife, Amanda, passing away. And the thing is, I wasn't very invested in that. They kind of just glossed over their relationship, glossed over her, even her cancer and, and uh, you know, and death even that you're just like, all right, get revenge. But you're not so much invested in her death and, and that story to really be invested in the revenge story. Do you know what I mean? So it was kind of like, all right, you're getting revenge, whatever, because your wife died. We hardly got to see the wife. The movie just dragged. I mean, I love a good action movie, but I also want some substance. And I, I want, you know, I wanted more of, like I said, more of the lead up and, and the build up of like this revenge and, and the emotions and everything. Just instead of just fight scene after fight scene after fight scene, it just got old after a while. Let me tell you a little bit about what the parents need to look out for when watching this, for kids when watching this movie. You're gonna get some harsh language. They have the F word, they have the S word, the B word. Even they had uh, the balls and the GD word. So there's going to be some uh, harsh language in this, and it's said throughout the movie. Other than the language, the other big lookout is the violence, of course, I've been telling you. There's hand-to-hand -hand combat, there's guns, there's knife-wielding, there's stabbings and, and murder from gunshots, and, and kids put in like, dangerous positions and dangerous situations. You know, so the violence is the big one. You actually see murders and, and the blood and everything like that. They also have, you know, like I said, the mom dies of cancer, so that can be triggering for some kids as well. So this is now on Netflix. I give it a two out of five. I mean, other than the eye candy and that big twist, there just wasn't much else, you know, worth watching it for. <laughs> I mean, the eye candy alone made me worth watching it for, but you know what I mean. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, and all that down below. And until next time, mwah!